Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft. I'm here to talk to you about the new CISA update in 2024. The ISACA CISA certification is the gold standard auditing certification. It's recognized across the world, and it's usually the capstone certification that cybersecurity and IT systems auditors will obtain to cap out all the certifications in their career. It's highly sought after. It's recognized by ANSI, by ISO, IEC, and it's recognized by the DOD, federal government, it's required for a lot of federal positions. So it's a fantastic certification to get. And the certification is long overdue for an update. The last time there was an update was in 2019. And since then, of course, we've had a global pandemic. There have been a lot of changes in how auditing has been accomplished. So what are the changes that we're seeing with the CISA certification? Well, we're seeing a shift in the weight of each domain and an update overall to the certification in regards to new auditing trends, response to risks, including risks from a global pandemic, risk from changing a work structure to a work from home environment. And we see that in the new version, the domain titles stay the same, but the weight of each domain has been shifted. So in the main one used to be the weight was 21%. That's been reduced the auditing process over uh, this Topics talking about the overall auditing process have been reduced to 18%. And really what that means is that they're reorganizing. They're not spending as much time on the, the basics of auditing. They're, the uh, course content now talks about how to incorporate auditing into the IT governance process of an organization. We do see a, a significant expansion of domain four, business resilience. And that's an expansion of topics to address risk at all level of the organization and address risk from an increase in remote work and a, uh, address risks, at least strategic risks from the possibility of something like a pandemic. Now, if you wanna read about the changes, check out the description here for uh, this article. It goes through every single change and we see the new job tasks for the CISA certification, all listed out here on cybercrafttraining.com. So in domain one, we have new job roles from planning to execution. Domain two, we talk about governance and IT management. Domain three, this is the implementation, systems acquisition, development, implementation. Uh, this Section has been expanded and updated to include supply chain risks. Of course, we've seen hacks like the Solar Winds hack that was a major supply chain risk that affected millions of organizations. Um, and that was from a trusted third party vendor. So additional auditing considerations have been added to address supply chain and third party vendor risk. We also see expansion of information systems implementation, which includes testing and patching uh, processes and procedures. The main force is where a lot of the expansion has taken place within the CISA certification. This is where we're seeing a expansion of business resilience tasks, uh, system operations tasks, basically ensuring that correct incident response procedures are in place, uh, Data is being managed and protected. Encryption is being placed on data as it's in rest and transit, etc. And domain five has remained largely the same protection of information assets. This is the cybersecurity portion of the CISA certification. And this is where we see a lot of traditional cybersecurity terms. Uh, we see privacy incorporated, malware terminology, uh, endpoint cryptology, virtualization, though this section has been expanded to include more information on Internet of Things devices and virtualized and cloud networks. And we also see an expansion of security event management with more training programs, security monitoring, and uh, evidence collection incident response. There are also multiple supporting tasks that don't really fit into any of the, the five domains. 
So these are all the additional supporting tasks that will be taught within the CEO certification. And that, that expansion of these additional uh, tasks really does help round out the certification and modernize it to be applicable to today's uh, cybersecurity landscape. Now the course materials have been changed as well. The course materials are gonna be more in line with the new ISACA SISM, the uh, Information Security Manager Security uh, Certification. That certification just underwent a, a major update and the instructor materials, the course materials were expanded significantly. There are many materials added to support risk management uh, policies and, and concepts. Practical exercises were added and the instructor materials experienced a, a complete revision. And we're gonna see that also with the CISA course materials. And as a accredited training organization, Cybercraft, we were a premium accredited training organization with ISACA. We're gonna be able to receive those materials on the 1st of May. This update overall will take effect in August, on the 1st of August. So we're gonna be hard at work between May and August, revising our course materials so we can present high quality CISA training. And I'm excited about the new CISA materials. I think they're gonna be really, really fantastic to help drive engagement within our classes. If they're anything like the CISM materials, which I imagine they are in, in my discussions and my research, it looks like they're gonna be pretty similar. And we're gonna see a lot more practical exercise, a lot more ways to uh, engage students and have them learn these concepts by doing real exercises. So I think that's gonna be very great. There's also gonna be a complete update to the questions, answers, explanation database and the official study guide with the CISA as well, of course. So new questions, new study guide, all new materials for the 2024 update. I think it's a, a very positive change that ISAC is doing and they really do take their time making sure that each revision to their certifications is thorough and complies with uh, modern security principles. What they really try and incorporate what's going on in the current landscape into their certifications. So that's fantastic. Now, if you're looking for CISA training, I do recommend you check out our CISA instructor-led training. We have uh, ISACA CISA training uh, every, every uh, month, multiple times a week. So you can check out the link here. And our course schedule goes throughout the year. And we have day, evening, and weekend options for our courses. We offer first-time pass guarantee with any of our, our CISA courses, the official SACA materials, question and answer explanation database, and the official CISA study guide. So if you're looking for a CISA training, uh, check out our course and we're an ISACA premium accredited training organization. There are very few uh, premium accredited training partners in the Americas region and we're one of them. So overall, I think this is a, a very good update to the CISA. I think uh, we're going to see some exciting changes and the CISA is, of course, going to remain as the flagship certification for IT systems auditors. And it really is, if you're looking to get into auditing, whether for the federal government, financial sector, healthcare industry, the CISA is the certification that you would want to obtain. It's one of the most popular certifications in the world and CISA certification holders are they're recognized as IT audit experts. So I hope this was helpful to go over these different changes. Again, check out our article. We have lots of information there and you can download uh, digital guides, brochures, etc., from cybercrafttraining.com to help learn more about the CISA certification. But thanks so much for watching the video. Have a great day.